We about to talk about relationships. Ooh. For the first time. Yeah, we're going to get into all this stuff. Why y'all grabbing on the mic? Get ready. I'm getting ready. Bro. Mic all loose. It's straight. Look, it's rocking left to right. That's good. I broke it. <laughs> you broke it? Yeah. So that was your old mic, and then you switched it because you no, broke this it. this is my new mic. That's your old mic. You owe me a mic. I don't. <laughs> Come on, love, man. You got it on your body. <sighs> All right, man. Time to, <laughs> Time to get into it about this love and relationship stuff. All right. Kick it off, man. First question. When do you know you're ready to settle down? I think I gotta start with the man on the right. <laughs> Read the question again, fellas. When do you know you're ready to settle down? Mm-hmm. Yes. I think it differs between um, women and men. You know, personally, you never know when you're ready to settle down. Uh, I'm at an age now, I'm 24, uh, I'm about to be a graduate. Uh, from Morris College in Southern South Carolina. Shout out to y'all. But, um, yeah, like, you never know when you're ready to settle down. Personally, I like it for it to happen naturally. Like, it just, you know, you're, you're friends, and then now you just end up into a relationship. That's what I like about relationships. I like how you shout out your school. Yeah, yeah, I had to, you know, represent. <laughs> shout out HBCU. Shout out Clark. Yes, <laughs> 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 yeah, sir. That answer. Um, it's on me now. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. we gotta go to the young. We are gonna go to the oldest, the youngest. Okay. Cool. Uh, Anyways, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't really do relationships. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm just. I was in a, a one for a long time. Are you jaded? <laughs> I'm not jaded. I just don't think I have what it takes to be in a relationship right now. But yeah. I agree with what he said. Like, if somebody come along that I want to do stuff with and hang out with and be friends with, go places with, you know, spend quality time with, that's cool. And if we fall into a relationship, we fall into a relationship. If we don't, I'm not forcing it. But, you know, um, what you said is very key. Um, we have to recognize that we're not ready yeah. for that time. A lot of people feel like they just... What's this voice you I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> You don't gotta put on. You don't gotta be studious. Be you. Listen, live your truth. I'm living my truth. So let me finish. Let me finish. Thank you before I was really interrupted. But yeah, like I was saying, like you said something very important. Like you recognize that you are not ready to be in a relationship, and we all have to hold ourselves accountable for that because it's no point in wasting time with people. It's nothing wrong with getting to know somebody, but if you know you're not serious, you have to be, you have to recognize that and be honest with that person and let them know that hey, you know, I'm not ready to be in a relationship right now. But I do like being your friend. Can we continue to hang out? Can you know what I'm saying on the solo dolo? Come I should have did that. What if I you don't know that? that? I just ghost them. Oh, you yeah, know. See, me too. No, and I'm on the same thing. What if you don't know too. you're not ready? No, when do you know like some what if you feeling her, but then like you're not feeling her? That makes sense. Alright, well you feeling her, you get into the relationship and then you're not? Yeah. yeah. Then you gotta double. Yeah, so you should know. So like if that's if you have that's why you don't get that's why you don't do it. If you have that doubt like that, then with dating, it's like when you date somebody, it's like like, you want them to be exclusive, yeah. even though y'all just talking, you know? Mm. Like, you don't want them, you want them only to talk to you, even though y'all supposed to, like, getting to know each other. Yeah, so, if they talk to somebody else, you'd be like, man, she's talking to somebody else. I ain't gonna try to... That's being, like, that's just being scared to fight for what you want. And you know mm-hmm. what? Fight it, for love? What exactly. It's not, it's not about <laughs> fighting for love, this. but it's just a little competition. It's not... Yeah, it's like, when if, if we're not officially committed, why do I have to not talk to nobody else? Mm-hmm. Why would I? Why would you? That's you gotta think about this. It's like in a business deal. You got an offer on the table, and you know there's more offers out there. Yeah. Why would you just so lock in on that offer? Yeah. yeah, and that's a mindset I had to develop post, you know, high school. Post, like I was in college when I realized that nobody is obligated to be exclusive with me. And I'm not obligated to be exclusive with anybody, even though we just not getting to know each other. Now I would want that respect. To be informed that you either are dealing with other guys or you know you really rock with me, so you're not dealing with other guys no more. But you can't expect that off top, and that's something I had to learn with the experience. You know, not saying it's, it's nothing wrong with getting played. We all take L's. You know what I'm saying? And, it's, and you know we all give L's too. You know what I'm saying? But you know you have to just be honest with each other, and that's where the big communication comes communication. in. And that's yeah. an adult thing, man. Everybody don't know how to communicate, but that's something you got to learn. 
Do you know how to communicate, B? I don't. And that's, that's one kind I do have. Like, I don't know how to communicate. Like, I could hold something in that I know I did that when, when I see her, like, in my face, you know, smiling. I don't want to see, like, that just tarnished because mm -hmm. I'm telling you I done did something bad. Mm -hmm. And, like, like you said, relationships, like, you just can't jump in it because... <laughs> I like me. I'm starting to realize. Okay, I jump in it. Like we good. Like the first three, four months, yeah. but then I get bored. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I be wanting to go, shit, talk to somebody else, go yeah. mess with somebody else. And you know what though? This is what I realize. Um, now, when you're dating, you can do that. You know, if y'all not exclusive, if y'all not like in a relationship, you can do that. But when you're in a relationship, you can't really just. Decide to go, hey, oh, well, I'm going to just go fuck around with somebody else. I yeah. mean, that's that's disrespectful. You can do whatever you want. You're grown. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, it comes with consequences. It do. And karma is real. You ever been tempted by a woman while you was in a relationship? Yes. Did you act on the temptation? No. Okay. But it just it just also depends about, the it, and it also goes into who the relationship with. You don't really act on the temptation, but everybody's tempted, man. You know, we young black men out here trying to get an education. We go in colleges. We see women all the time. Like, True. Work at different internships. You see women all the time. Now, if you're in a relationship, then that's up to you to make that decision. You know, would you take it to your grave? Would you tell her about it? That's a good question. If you cheated on somebody, would you tell them about it? It depends. I mean, I don't cheat. I ain't never cheated on nobody. That I am. Well, in my mind, I ain't never cheated on nobody. That's the problem. Cheating got. Cheating got. <laughs> <That's the problem. laughs> I ain't true, never, true, I ain't true. Never oh had, yeah, and what is true. people's definition of cheating? cheating? Some girls think so. Some men think so. I like, like I flirt. I'm, a, I'm a legal. Yeah, so flirt. if I meet people, you know what I'm saying? No, don't take me so. Uh, I ain't yeah. take me so. <laughs> if I meet people, I might. If I meet a cute girl, I might naturally flirt with her, but I might not pursue that. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's, and that's. And it's like thing. you know, just like on some like. Oh, you know, I like your shoes. Ah, thank you. It's just like with me though. I just. Feel but like, it don't be no. If I don't have sex with you, I don't think I cheated. What'd you say, Bruce? I was saying, uh, with me, though, I don't be flirting. I just be, like, talking. Mm -hmm. And, and some, other girls take that as flirting? Yeah. And that's and that's another thing, too, man. Well, girls go, in this society, because social media, every, a compliment to a girl means you flirting to them. Yeah. A lot of them. Because this new technology age kind of ruined social construct. And some people really? just don't know how to under, some people just don't know how to take compliments. You know what right. I'm saying? Some that's people true. just don't know. He's just genuinely being nice. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, I had a girl do that, and I had to cut her off because she started talking crazy. <laughs> yeah, like and she posted something that was funny, and I laughed at it. And she was like, "What's funny?" And I was like, "You know the video you posted." And she was like, "Oh, well, I it wasn't meant to be funny." And I was like, oh, "I apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't get it." Again. Well, you really could just block me because, like, oh. <laughs> Block. <laughs> you know I mean? like, yeah. I don't. I don't ever try to. All my intentions are pure. Like mm -hmm. some dudes come into situations, and they trying to just smash. I mean, that's cool. But I, if I'm trying to do that, I kind of just let it be known. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Being honest, because you never know who you meet. Girls, girls might girls be on like the that. same way. Like, like, exactly. Don't want to tell them like, oh, I'm not really looking for no relationship. Like, I just want to kick it and see where things go. Yeah. You, you don't have to boldly, blatantly say. I want to have sex. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't say that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. But you can. You can allude to it. Allude or, to like, or make it make her comfortable. Like, because like, some girls don't want to see too. Then they'll let you know. They be like, I don't really want a relationship. It depends, though. Yeah. Some girls like, you can say that too, though. Yeah, they be with. That's true. Say what? I don't want to like off real. I come more respectable. You, you just said nah, it. I just want to. You say it like that? <laughs> yes, I just want to. That's it. That haven't worked well. Anymore. No feelings attached. No. <laughs> but that's, it depends. You gotta know your. You gotta know your personality. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Communication. Cause me personally, I'm not built like that. I can't say that either. I don't. Yeah. I don't have I'm not built like. It takes time for me to build up that momentum because one. That Me Too movement. True. Yeah. I got to be respectful. I got aunts, nieces, yeah. and cousins and stuff like that. I can't be out here oh, wilding like that because yeah. I don't want exactly consent. I don't want nothing to happen yeah, to my... like me, yeah. my when, I, when I see like a HOE, uh, I know that's a HOE. And I'm going to try all real. Yeah. So. I don't have that I don't have that vision, that HOE vision. I'm going to be in the areas. <laughs> but uh, if, I, if, if, we, uh, if we adults about the situation and we've had conversations alluding to, you know, sex, I'm going to be like, you know what I'm saying? So what's up? Like, what you mm -hmm. trying to do? That's my thing. I'm, that's me asking for sex. Yeah. What you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm with them shits. Because, girl, yeah, some girls... <laughs> look, 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 Some look. girls will have... Some girls will talk sex with you like, 
girls talk sex with you from the jump sometimes. Like they do. You go meet a girl. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I think you're so cute. Oh, I think you're cute too. Da, 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 da. You know what do you do? What you up to? Blah blah blah. blah. Nothing. Just got out the shower. Like. Ooh, you smell it. You sp- you probably smelling good. You know, so you might throw a little <laughs> slick thing in there. And a don't girl. tell me you that guy to be like without me. No, nah, <laughs> I don't. Do that. That's so high school. Bro. I ain't did that since high school, yeah, like early high school. Ooh, I, if I like tenth grade, like, yeah. You said I know my game. Man. I don't know how I got girls in high school. That's crazy because my game was so weak. But I had I had way more dates and girls I dated in high school than nah. as an adult. Yeah. yeah, she had all that drip back in high school. Huh? I still got drip. Huh? Talk about I think it. it's more so now, like, but college for me was weird because I feel like all the girls at the school I went to liked the land. Yeah. I feel you, like I feel like the gender enough. roles switched when we got like not gender roles but the roles of society switched when I got to um college. college. So in high school, well, maybe that's where they're from. They liked. Yeah, people. but I'm saying in high school yeah. I wasn't popular per se, but I was known, and I was like, and I was in a different program from everybody else, so people would see me, but I was social enough to like. If I had pee with you, I'ma chop it up with you about sport. Like, oh no, this dude cool. He in magnet. I don't really know him, but it's cool. He, he dressed nice. And the girls thinking the same thing. Oh, he he short. <laughs> I, <laughs> girls dub me like that. I I still get dubbed for my height, but it's like, oh, he short. He cute though. He cool, you know, whatever. And then college was, it was like I'm I'm getting older. I got so I could dress. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't matter per se, which it shouldn't matter as an adult because it's kind of superficial. But mm-hmm. they um they were more into like I don't know, bro. The it's stuff I different. wasn't into, it yeah. just wasn't me. Like yeah. this, people go to parties, bro, and the dudes that was in the middle of the floor doing ah, them the ones getting the girls, and I'm just sitting in the corner like strolling. Now not even strolling. I'm talking about like. <laughs> Uh, niggas hitting the folks in the middle floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> them dancers and shit. Yeah. Uh, all that. That be the one getting girls. And I'm not a dancing I'm drunk, so. Yeah. But I'm not even, even a dancer. Even, even, even if I'm not like that, it's more so like, you know, when that, some when that shit. come on. Like, yeah, some little shit. It's like slick stuff. They hit the it, wall or some shit. Yeah, it's you know not no me going hard, right. you know, breaking the sweat Dance in the middle of a circle. Oh, God. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing that. But and it's nothing wrong with the dancing dudes. It's just saying that wasn't my style. And I feel like the weirdest of the people that was lame in high school ended up being cool in college because they tried to switch up who they were. And that got them. You think switching up who you were? Made you're not wrong with that because you're going to grow as a person. Yeah, you grow as a person. Me and my barber had to talk about that. I was like, he wasn't on that in high school. He was like, we just got to think about it. Who you were in high school and who you going to be as an adult. That's true. You could be in high school the, the coolest and nicest person ever. And then by the time you go through life and get you 20 years old, you a stone cold killer. And it's just how it go. Yeah. So I know people from high school and middle school. I'm like, he never hurt, you know, he wasn't like that. He not hard. You feel, bro, I'm be saying that nigga, now, Be bro. the first one to shoot you now. Like, like bro, they just be, they I'm just saying look. that be, used to be book smart, like, strictly football is yeah. in class. Now you send on Instagram. Yeah, I got the tool, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm just showing gun. Like, bro, you, I, I know like you, bro. That. You was in school. But, they, but people switch <laughs> up. But, but I tell your mama. Stop <laughs> people switch it up when they get, you know, to a certain level. And, uh, like, this is gonna bring me to my. No, I'm talking about this. You got it. This gonna bring me to my next question. Like, um, what's the, what's the quality of a girl that draw you to them? Like, what what attracts you to a girl? Like, what gets you to be like, all right, I'm gonna try to shoot this shot at her. First, mm-hmm. it'd be like, I look at a girl's face. Like, the face always attracts me for some reason. True. And it's like, it's if I'm right. looking at you and I just know, and I just know you beautiful. Oh, Brandon is lying. He's lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Y'all want to say ass? Eh, I know that, but <laughs> but really, really, two. yeah, that like, really, but really, first it be the face, bro. Like it really be the face first, cause when I see that you beautiful shit, I'm I'm gonna keep looking at you until I just it, say something. Is it people try to call me weird? Cause I don't really care for like body don't really phase me per se. Yeah. I'm a face. I'm a fa- like face hygiene. Mm. Come on, God. <laughs> like that, that hygiene means that breath. should be a given though. No, well, I know, I know it's not, though. I know it's not. The coronavirus? Hygiene, I go to, like, hygiene mean, like, breath, you know, smell, uh, cleanliness, nails. Like, I I like this. I like girls that keep their nails done. I like girls that get their toes done. I like, 
I like girls that like consistent though. Up. You consistent. know what I'm saying? Smell, <laughs> always <laughs> smell good. You know what that little bad and body work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I like I like that, and it's not. And, and then I tell like, and I don't think a girl should necessarily do it for a man. Mm-hmm. But I just think do I like girls that keep the upkeep for themselves. But what about I'm going to girl the uh, woman role? What? Well, how men don't be kidding with themselves? I keep on myself. Men don't. People, people. I do a lot of stuff. People might consider me metrosexual the way I move. Cause I'm, I go get my. I I've been to get my nails done by myself and got a manicure. I felt weird walking in there for the first time. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm walking in. He was like, you want color? I'm like, man, fuck, nah. I'm putting no color in my damn damn. Yeah, he made a voice deep. Nah, yeah. G. I just, <laughs> but, get it clean. but it was you cool. Like, I don't mind getting a manicure. I don't, like, me and my ex used to go on dates to go get our nails and shit. But women are held to a higher standard when it comes to hygiene. Yeah, they are. But and that is true. I don't yeah. mind. Like, it, some, see, it's also the type of girl you're dealing with. I know girls that want dirty nails. Cut through, you know, Hands look really. like they yeah. been working on cars all day. Like, girl, man, I didn't been turned down a couple times. Also, I'm like, oh, you're not hard enough. And I'm like, then like trap, be wearing the same clothes. Yeah, I'm like, I'll like, like, yeah. be like, God, damn. he wearing dick fit all day. He wear the same dick fit every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and I don't have a problem with getting his hustle on, but I, when people try to tell me I'm not hood enough, I just be like, but I'm really from the hood though. You just because you uh from or of something don't mean you're you know gonna yeah. act like it. True. True. And that's and I like meeting people that be like, oh yeah, you know I'm from the same place you are, but I turned it up like I changed my life to do this, or I went a different path. Yeah, real quick, bro. So oh, touch my knee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, bro. So how do you what what attracts you to a woman? Like, it, was that the initial question that Brandon mm-hmm. asked? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Like B said, the face. I mean, I don't think you're uh, pretty in the face. I'm probably not gonna lie. I'm like, because oh, so, I'm nice. I'm not gonna be like she ugly. Yeah. Like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah. cool off her. So definitely the face. Yeah, my man. So <laughs> you gonna say it? I don't say it to the girl. Uh, though, I'm nice. Bro. Then I stopped doing it like that. Now look at the body. The body not like a real game changer to me. If like they got something, I'm like, oh, that's yeah. cool. I can work with that. <laughs> then I'm sorry. Dress like <laughs> I like thighs now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> then I um uh, uh like attire. Not really. That's not a big deal to me. Attire. Like what you wear. I mean, it if, if you could, me. yeah, if you dress like it matter to me, but it don't. Like, I don't like if you dress, but if you don't, like if I see you like let's say I go to Clark, girls in my class be coming in their sweats because like at nine a.m. Yeah, they're not gonna be in their best fit. But like if I know that, oh you know, let's go out. I know you can get a fit. Like yeah. that's fine with me. Then personality for sure. Like oh, that's come got, on, brother. <laughs> personality, you got, that is a real. It does matter. Like, you do not want to be miserable. Yeah. For <laughs> real. Personality, look, you like. Number one on the low, but I mean, I, I just can't. face matters so much to me, so like because that's what like attracts that. you to a woman, right. but he just added personality into the mix. It, it's like no funny, uh, just have a like if you got somebody have, have an ability to talk about like your something best friend, else. Like, something best. like uh, to talk about anything. Like, so, so this one girl, uh, I talked to last uh, last year, my freshman year, she was, she was bad, but she didn't talk about nothing. She was her personality was just so dry, I couldn't like. Do anything. You know what though? Do you think she was just being dry to you, or she's naturally just dry? Naturally just dry. Cause I hung out with her like with friends, like and she's still like, yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah. Worse. <laughs> so cause I was like, cause like she like, hella hella people come up and talk to her. What's your number? Like I took her out like once. Yeah, yeah everybody but, asking what her number is. That bad. Yeah, but she's just dry. dry. Like I got like, nah, I can't like can't do this no more. Is so. she just? Do you think she got by off of her looks? Was she like? Girls get by off their looks, they can. But let's just go back to what you were trying to. We talked about that already. That's a good. Topic. That's it. That's what? it. No, like. That's what I was talking about for me. Oh, personality matters. Um, I'm a face. Face matter, then personality, then like, I really, cause personality go a long way for me. So like, personality mean, cause I'm a real family, the gang, yeah. my friends oriented. So like, if I bring you around, I don't need you to be all standoffish or non-social or you know just anti like yeah. I like when people if I could bring you around you could fit in with my family that's like that's the way to my heart on the low like if you family oriented yeah if you family yeah. oriented and yeah, you pretty. kick you with, yeah I mean but <laughs> not saying like yeah, even, or even if you're not pretty we could be friends maybe if you family oriented but like mm-hmm. you ever dated a girl who wasn't like all that attractive but her personality was just so great that, yeah yeah okay I mean I've been yeah, there I, did too. I dated like Two, three people that I didn't really think were the baddest, but I, they were cool. Thanks. Jesus and Christ. being cool matters. So, but like, 
my like for me to be like, oh, I want to marry this girl. If she pretty and she um, she pretty and could hang out and be cool around my people, and she got a good personality. She not crazy, and like, <laughs> you know, that junk go a long way for me. It's crazy overrated. It is overrated. What you mean? Crazy overrated. It's a crazy girl overrated. Um, let me let me let me draw something. To I you don't know. Quick. I can't even give an answer on that one. If someone says they're crazy, I had to get to the mic because this is serious. <laughs> it is. Believe them. Don't take that as a joke. It's not funny. Believe them. Okay. Analyze them. Watch their personality. Watch their movements because you never know. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you have to like skate real fast, or you don't want to have uh, or you don't want to be in a situation where you know say things happen and you have a kid with this person. But somebody tell you they're crazy, believe them. Okay. Now, there's levels to crazy. So you can take it as a lesser threat. But you know, somebody be like, oh yeah, I'm crazy. I be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, how crazy? Like, what you mean crazy? Like, but Yeah, um, for me, the things that attract me to a woman, uh, first, we're going to have to go off the looks because the first thing we see is their face. Uh, mm-hmm. You have to be attractive in the face. And um, you look at the body, you feel? Yeah, yeah. Then the body, of course the body comes after Personality is very important. Um, spiritual, spiritual, spirituality, spirituality. Yeah, that's important to me too. Um, you know, your involvement. Like, are you different? Like, what are you involved with? Like, yeah. do you have a job? Like, you know, are you in any clubs? Do you take photos? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, like, what are you, what are your passions? Because, like, me personally, I'm at this point in my life where I have to take things more serious than I used to as a kid. You know, as you grow up as a man, you have to put childish things away. Yeah. You know, I need somebody that's going to, you know... Childish things grow. like what? Childish things like what? Mm, that's a good one. Um, Those girls think the game is childish, and I ain't never give my shit up. <laughs> Bird, Video games no are therapeutic. Cap. <laughs> Video games are therapeutic. But uh, childish things, like, um, you know, I feel like developing into adult, a lot of things are not as funny as they used to be. You know, like, don't get me wrong, when I was growing up, I'm probably like, know me, know me, like, I'm probably like top ten that, uh, Roast your ass like that used to be my thing. <laughs> I still roast to this day, but now I just roast people that that are, that I that are comfortable with. If I'm not comfortable with you, I'm not gonna just yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not gonna dog you out. When I was younger, anybody can get it. I was one of them. They call it bullying now. Bro, you know, Jameer <laughs> told me a whole story about your way. I guess say, bro, like yeah. I used to get down, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like he was like it was the one I was in school or something. He tried you. My y'all was walking home or some shit, and then Jay Z was like. He was behind, like he was gonna rob you, but he was like you were taking all your shirt, your hoodie, and junk. Like he was like, cause I was in a big country, so goddamn, he didn't know what you were gonna do. And he was like, you just start rocking his ass. I was like, damn, out. Yeah. That was a long time ago, but yeah, man, like you put away childish things, like you just move differently. Like that's when I say, like when you're growing as a person, when you're growing as a man, you just develop different, you know. And there's nothing wrong with staying true to who you are, but you just know that you're growing as a person. But yeah, like I'm saying, back to things that attract me. Uh, of course, face, looks, personality. I like, I do like butts. I do like thighs. You know, I'm southern. That's real. But um, yeah, that's it for me.